I, I think this is part of a very critical and important role of what we as media and civil society are expected to do. And um, I really didn't get that much enough from the media, I must confess, that we should actually have put the SP on the spotlight. He's not only been investigated for the, go the term as governor in um, um, in Akwaibom, but also as a minister of Niger Delta. I mean, these are very critical issues. This was a person that was invited by EFCC uh, and refused to honor the invitation, claiming that he was sick, only to be junketing around campaigning to be the Senate president and eventually emerged as the Senate president. This is actually a very sour taste in the mouth, uh, both for the president um, and both for this government. And, and that actually can tell us, unfortunately, also with what eventually happened with the and corruption agency, um, particularly the EFCC, with the removal of the uh, of the chairman, and no action already been taken to tell us what is the agenda of this government in the fight against corruption. So, uh, some of those emergence uh, of the people that are associated, looking at even the ones that contested, including Abdulaziz Yari, who contested to be the Senate president. These are people that are still. Uh, wanted by the EFCC, uh, particularly for some of the atrocities that have been committed in public office in the past. It is true that government officials and they are good government officials, no doubt. They are honest and patriotic government officials. But what are they up against? They are up against, first, a blinding demo, uh, uh, bureaucracy that has separated intentions from the structures on the ground. What I have observed from my own little corner is the widening gap between government and civil society. There's a widening gap between government and civil society. How can a government fight corruption if that gap keeps widening? widening? How can anyone in a government office pretend to know who is living above his or her means? If not from citizens, and neighbors of such people. And one of the basics in um, uh, corruption is um, if money is not stolen, if we have programs, government um, programs um, and the, in the implementation, if money is not stolen or there is a reduction or in wastage of government resources, then there will be more resources available for government programs. So the, in the Renewed Hope um, agenda, uh, in relation to fighting corruption, inefficient waste in government, um, the promises um, the government will continue to work on the current administration or, or, of the work, work. We continue the work of the current administration in reforming the civil service to fight corruption, reduce bureaucracy, streamline agencies, decrease inefficiency and waste. We'll streamline the amount that government spends on itself, a cap we place on fiscal expenditures for the construction of government buildings and on salaries related compensation packages of elected officials. We all have a responsibility up and down and across to make sure that there's good governance because we suffer when someone <laughs> runs away with the money, however it's done. And it can't be that no one is walking away with bags of money. It's somehow electronic transfer. It's something. So what can be done in advance to capture those transactions? <laughs> 